This is going to be kind of a big video today. I'm going to show you several things in Thunkable or in coding really is what I'm going to show you is some logic in how to create a list of items and how to use a loop to repeat something many times or a couple of times. If you haven't already explored all of this, I'm going to just show you how. So first things first, um, I've found four images. You can see over here on the right hand side, I found four images because what I intend to do is when I click a button, I want the background image to change randomly every second. Okay, so I've gotten four image, images and I've already uploaded three of them. So if you look over here on this, this side, if you scroll down to the bottom of these, of this list of things you've got, you'll notice where it says files and it says you can either choose a file or drag it here. So I'm going to drag right now. I've got the rabbit, the owl, the Instagram. So I'm going to drag my bird over to include that in here as one of my files. Okay. So I've got four images. Now what I'm going to do is throw a button in here because when I click the button, that's when I want the images to, to repeat themselves. So I'm going to put the button here. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it my picture button, picture B. I want the text to say, click if you want. Kind of long, made my, my column get a little bit bigger, but that's okay. So click if you want. It's not very pretty, but I don't care. The, the point of today is the blocks. All right, so we've added some pictures. I've added a button that you can click. Let's go to the blocks. I'm going to show you a couple of things here. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. The first thing we want to do is put all of these images in a list. The only way we can do that, and this is true for any language, not just Thunkable, is we need to create what's called a variable. In other words, we need to create something. It's a place to hold the list. So I'm going to grab this block here that says initialize the variable called name, but I want to change it to be the picture list. I want it to be something that makes sense. So this variable is just a placeholder. It's a place where we're going to store all of the names of the pictures that we have uploaded into Thunkable. Okay, so now I'm going to go into lists and I want to create a list. So if I drag this over here, this is creating a list right now in the list, there are items one, two, and three. We don't want that. We want a list of all of the names of our images. I don't know if you figured this out yet, but if you right click on a block, you can delete it or you can drag it into the trash, whatever you like better. If you have a lot of blocks. So for example, if I wanted to delete this whole thing, if I right click on it, it says I can delete all three blocks at the same time. That would be this orange one, the variable, the list, and then that number three. I don't want to do that though. I just want to delete this number three. So I select it and I delete the block. Okay. Now I need to grab some text because I need to make sure you, I'm spelling the names of my images exactly as they show up. So for example, insta.png is what I've called this one, insta.png. If you don't spell it right, it's not going to show up. All right, I'm going to do that a bunch of times. So I'll just duplicate this block, right click and duplicate. I'll right click and duplicate again. And I'm going to rename all of these. So then the next one is owl.png. The next one is rabbit.jpg. Oops, dot jpeg. But I've got a fourth picture. I have a bird as well. And this only showed me three spots to put it in. Well, do you see this little blue wheel right there? That little blue wheel gives you more options. So I'm going to click on that. Now it's saying right now you've got three items in your list and I need a fourth. So I'm going to grab this item and drag it in. Oops, a little laggy right there. If you've got another image, drag it in. If you don't have five images, oh, oops, I counted wrong. Just take it out. It just, it removes it. Okay. When you're done, you can click on the blue wheel again. We'll add one more text block. 
and this one will have my bird. JPG, no E in it this time. All right, now, when the button is clicked, that's when I want it to loop through my images. I want it to repeat a bunch of times. So when my picture block is clicked, I'm gonna get this one out of the way. When my picture block is clicked, I want to repeat the image changing. So if we go into control, there's this block that's called repeat. And this is what's called a for loop in most languages, but in Thunkable and like Scratch and Snap, they also call it a repeat block. We'll be, when we get to Python, we'll call it a for loop. And I'll just make it 10 times. You can make it nine times. You can make it 99 times. It doesn't matter. If you use a forever loop, that could potentially break thunkable. So I don't ever recommend using a forever loop, but we can repeat it 10 times. All right, let's change the background image. So I'm gonna to go to my home screen. I wanna set the background picture. And I want to just choose something randomly from this list. So if I go into the list, I want to choose a random item. And this is not the name of my list, so I'm going to delete it. I'm going to get rid of those three blocks because the name of my list was called picture list. That was the variable I created. So I'm saying go get a random item from the list called blah. So if I go into variables, my list is called picture list. It's the app, it's an app variable. Okay, so this says when the button's clicked, 10 times in a row, I want you to change the background picture to be a random item from this list of images. Let's go try it out. It's not gonna work and I'll show you why in a minute. So if we preview this, and if I click the button, it's only showing me one but really what's happening is it went through all 10 of those pictures so quickly you couldn't see it so what we need to do is slow that process down a little bit not much but a little bit so for this after it changes an image i want to pause for a second so i want to wait for one second and then go back up and do the loop again. So the first time through, it'll pick an image, it'll wait a second, and then it'll come back up to the top, it'll pick an image, it'll wait a second, and it'll come back up to the top, and it'll do that 10 times. It's just working its way through the loop. So now let's go try it. Clicking, my first one, oh, that's big. And you'll notice a lag sometimes, and it could be that it picked the same image twice. Okay, that was it. Good luck, have fun with that.